Hi, my name's Tom Mason and welcome to the brand new Life in the Wild video blog for Wex Photographic. Over the coming series, join me as I take you behind the scenes into my life as a wildlife and nature photographer based here in the UK. So today it's a little bit more about me. My photographic journey started when I was 11 years old and I got given my first camera that was a second-hand Olympus OM10 for my birthday. It started my obsession with taking pictures of wildlife. I don't come from a privileged background. The equipment that I have in front of me today has been bought by myself after many years saving up. It's not something that I was just given on a plate. I really have worked for it. I'm a big believer that if you want something enough, you can go out there and get it. When I decided that I wanted to become a professional wildlife photographer, there were many people who said, I couldn't do it, that's not what people do. Um, I cast them aside, focused on what I wanted to do and just got out there taking pictures and that allowed me to get a foothold in a career that I'm lucky enough to have today. I'm probably best known for my work with British Wildlife. Living on a farm in Hertfordshire, I spend a huge amount of time photographing foxes and hares and anything I can find out in the countryside around my home. In addition to working in the UK, I've also been lucky enough to travel with my work, heading out to Latvia and Serbia, as well as an incredible opportunity uh, to head out to the Amazon rainforest last year in Peru. As a naturalist and wildlife photographer, getting to go to the Amazon was a dream come true, an opportunity that I will always be grateful for and something I shall never forget. As a photographer, I don't have a particular style. I love everything from panning shots to out of focus foregrounds and backgrounds, beautiful portraits, everything excites me. I believe that the best shots are those made by photographers who have a real passion and love for their subject as it really comes across in their images. If I was stuck on a desert island, I'd have to take my camera. I'd probably pick my Nikon D700 and my 24 to 70. It's such a versatile bit of kit. Um, it can really tackle any photographic situation. I truly go crazy without photography. So that's me. I just love taking pictures, spending time with wildlife and with people who are passionate about the natural world. As long as I get to do that throughout my career, I will never have a bad day. That's it for this video. So be sure to look out for me in the next Life in the Wild video blog.